What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Fortnite update news video. And so in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys everything that you need to know about season six Fortnite Primal. So there's three main additions that have been added to the game. And those are gonna be crafting new animals and fish. So like the new wildlife on the map and then the a slew of new weapons to the game. So getting on right into the video with the new season six update, Fortnite has added crafting into the game. And with this, you can now transform weapons into a higher rarity and different weapon types. The new weapon types that are available this season are going to be three different ones. There are primal, makeshift and mechanical. So first of all, mechanical weapons are going to be the same usual weapons that you know and love from Fortnite's past, such as the pump shotgun, spaz, scar, AR, SMG, that kind of thing. Primal weapons though, these are completely different new weapons to the game and there's all kinds of weapons that fit these same categories like Primal SMG, Primal Rifle, Primal Shotgun, Primal Pistol, and j like just to name a few of them. And now, thirdly, the last type of weapon that you can find off the ground is going to be makeshift weapons. And these makeshift weapons fall somewhere in between primal and mechanical in the sense that they, they, they're like, they work almost like a cross and you can use these, uh, makeshift weapons to transform them into either primal or mechanical weapons. And when you craft them, it will also increase the rarity of whatever makeshift weapon you have on hand. You're probably wondering how to craft or maybe you already know, but I'm going to be teaching you all how to do that. So makeshift weapons can be crafted and they are the only ones that can be turned into different weapon types. If you have a primal weapon or a mechanical weapon, you cannot change it once it is the way it is. That's how it is. So for makeshift weapons, if you want to craft something into a mechanical weapon, you're going to need mechanical parts. And these mechanical parts can be acquired through vehicles or equipment such as compacted cars, trailers, tractors, etc. And then on the other side of that, you have bones. Now, bones can be gathered through hunting wildlife or destroying these like rib like fossils sticking out of the ground. You can get bones that way too. And also if you can't find a way to like scavenge bones off the map, there are certain NPCs who will sell like these crafting materials that you need. For example, Jules at Camp Cod will sell you mechanical parts. And then the new T-Rex chick at the um, Bony Burbs will sell you bones. So if you can't find any that way, you can always go there and they sell one of these parts for 10 gold a pop. So it's not very expensive if you need to get some of your challenges done. And, you know, I, I think that's a good way to just land there. You know, they're usually uncontested, especially at Camp Cod. You can get a lot of that stuff done quick. Now, on to the animals. There is a massive variety of wildlife to be found on the island, such as hogs, wolves, chickens, frogs, and possibly soon to be raptors. But getting on to the ones that we have in game right now, hogs and wolves are both hostile. However, wolves can be tamed if you have a hunter's cloak and a hunter's cloak can be crafted through using meat and bones. Now, chickens, they will allow you, you can pick these guys up and they will allow you to glide down safely from areas of high elevation. And most animals in the game now will drop you um, meat and bones with the exception of frogs. Frogs will only drop you stink sacks that can be used as crafting parts. As for some of the new weapons included with the update, snipers have been removed and completely replaced by bows. They come in very many new varieties now. You can also craft new versions of these bows, such as the stink bow, uh, shockwave bow, explosive bow, and lastly, the fire bow. These bows, I think, are really unique. And I'm curious to see what you guys think about this now that we don't have snipers in the game and now it's just bows. What are your opinions on that? Because personally, I think it's cool. I think it's a massive shakeup to the meta and we're going to see how fights, you know, fight differently as opposed to how they have been for years now in this game. So getting on to the primal weapons, these primal weapons do not have first shot accuracy. So it's very bloom reliant. However, these weapons, um, even though they're, they may not be the most accurate, they have a very fast fire rate and they pack a mean punch. So they do a lot of damage. And if you're lucky enough to get some shots off quick, you can very well delete somebody or put someone at a massive advantage. 
Now on to some of the new fish to be added to the game. There are now squids and stink fishes. They can come in many forms and squids can be used kind of like sticky grenades. You can throw them somewhere and they'll stick to wherever they hit. And then if you shoot the squid wherever it lands, they will blow up in this massive inky explosion, dealing damage to anybody around. And then the stink fish, I'm pretty sure they're just reskinned glorified gas grenades. As far as I'm aware, that's all they are. I could be wrong. If there's other uses for them, please let me know in the comments. And I would love to, you know, uh, pin that comment and, and let everyone know. All right. So there are also new brand new locations on the map with this update. And the biggest one of them all is the spire. So in the center of the map now lies the spire and guarding this massive monument is the spire assassin. They're a hostile NPC that will attack you on site if you get near them. However, if you do manage to defeat her, you will be rewarded with a mythic primal shotgun. And as far as I'm aware, that is the only place to get that weapon. Now, located around the map, there are other mini spires and guarding those as well as another spire assassin. However, if you kill these guys, they're going to drop uh, purple tier epic loot but they also have a chance to drop this orb you can pick up this orb and it kind of acts like a hop rock while you hold it and it'll prevent you from taking fall damage and allow you to have like a gravity jump but if you take this orb and you bring it to the spire and insert it into this glowing rock structure with like this circle in it you're going to be rewarded with these mythic boots and that is also the only way to get those boots as far as massive new changes go to the meta um, and like the map and uh, even game mechanics, I think this is one of the biggest updates that we have seen in a long time that really changes up how the game feels and plays. And honestly, I'm really liking it. I, I like all the new additions to the game. And so I'm going to put up a photo right now showing the complete current loot pool in the game for the start of season six. This could change with the addition of new weapons, new tweaks, all that stuff. But right now, this is what we are rocking with. And as far as new things coming to the game, like I said, raptors have been leaked that they are probably coming. And around the map, you can see these little dinosaur eggs. And so I feel like that's just foreshadowing that only confirms what we already believe is going to happen. And then for new exotic weapons, we're going to be getting three new exotic weapons that we know about right now. Deadfire is going to be selling the Marksman 6 shooter at some time in the future. There's also going to be a grappler bow sold by Laura Croft that can also eliminate opponents. So I guess it does damage too. And then lastly, the upcoming unstable bow will be sold by Raven from Teen Titans. So as far as what we've got right now, I believe that's everything in the game and like some of the stuff to be looking forward to in the future. So you guys, let me know, what do you think of this season? What do you think about all the new changes? How are you feeling and are you enjoying the game? Because personally, I've been having a blast with this game right now. I haven't had this much fun with, you know, a new update in a long time. So I appreciate it, you guys. If you enjoy the video, if you found it helpful, um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Fortnite comment for more Fortnite content. And yeah, I, I appreciate it, you guys. If there's anything I missed, make sure to let me know in the comments and I will pin it. So yeah, I appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one.